Welcome everybody to uh, Friday, August 28th. Right now it's about four in the afternoon. Uh, and so I thought I'd go ahead and give you an update on Ethan. Uh, we are holding steady. Uh, we have, that's been the goal, uh, to allow the brain to still kind of on the trajectory up. Uh, they kind of anticipate 72 hours. So right now we're at like the 36 hour mark before we hit peak. And so uh, we're just kind of holding steady. And uh, he's on a drug called Pentabarb, which basically keeps everything calm. And so if you look at his EEG, it's basically a flat line. And if you continue heavy doses of that Pentabarb, then it stays a flat line. They've decreased it a little bit so that you get a little blurb like every minute or every 30 seconds just so that there's minor brain activity. The goal is to be calm, to allow his brain uh, to rest, relax, um, in preparation for healing. So that's where Ethan is. He's been calm, taken care of, heavily monitored. Uh, so it's been a quiet day, which which is nice. Uh, it's it's hard to look at him when you have nurses who come in, and uh, you know they don't they don't really know what he should look like, uh, and so that's hard. And so I make sure to show uh, anybody that comes in say this is what he he should look like, and uh, you know a week ago for the first day of school this is this is his picture. So. Uh, that's nice to share and reminisce. So, uh, so I thought that I'd give a little bit more backstory. Uh, we've we've been at this uh, a week now for sure. Uh, so it was about two weeks ago that Ethan was climbing out of a pool at my mom and dad's house, and I noticed that he was kind of carrying his arm like it was in an invisible sling, and I thought that that doesn't look right. And uh, so on the way home, I said, hey, would you squeeze my hands? I wanna feel how strong you are. And I noticed that his left squeeze wasn't as strong as his right hand squeeze. And I thought, wow, that's kind of weird. He mentioned that, you know, his shoulder hurt in July, but that went away and didn't bother him. So I didn't think much of it. So the week progressed and I kind of watched him and I noticed that he always does things right-handed, which for him, he's particular about certain things and quirky about certain things and so I just kind of watched him and then a week ago Friday uh, I noticed that he couldn't hold a plate with his left hand you can't see me I'm trying to do hand motions uh, I was handing off plates to take to the dinner table and I handed one to his right and I handed one to his left and he couldn't hold it in his left hand like Ethan hold the plate with your left hand and he couldn't do it and I was curious and I said okay pick up this glass and he tried to do it and, and he'd kind of reach out but he couldn't really get his his hand around the cup and really squeeze it he'd kind of grip it tilted like this he couldn't do that with his wrist it he could do elbow and 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 shoulder but he couldn't really move he could squeeze in and make a fist but it wasn't really good to let go and so I just thought this this is weird and uh, and so we kind of talked about it Friday night and uh, that was really hard because it's like it was at that moment that we knew something was wrong and uh, you get you know do a Google search and you'll just go crazy right so uh, Saturday he we felt like he got worse because he could squeeze but then he couldn't even open his hands like he'd have to put his hand on his arm or on his leg and like drag it open and I just thought that this can't be right so that was kind of uh, something that's like there's got to be something wrong his his walk seemed off um, he was kind of dragging his his left foot He's always kind of had an awkward smile where, you know, his left side always drooped and we just thought that was Ethan's goofiness, but we started to put everything together on Saturday night. Um, Sunday, we kind of said we need to do something about this. We had called the pediatrician on Saturday, but they weren't available. Sunday, we talked to Uncle Bill. He said he'd come out and give him a once over. And uh, in the meanwhile, we knew Bun Uncle Bill was coming out and, uh, Stephanie took Ethan grocery shopping and uh, on the way home from grocery shopping Ethan of course always wants to get some Tic Tacs 
And so he was leaning like this. And it's like, Ethan, you're using your left hand. He's like, oh, I am. It must be the Tic Tacs, Mom. So he thought that uh, Tic Tacs were, were healing him. And we went swimming on Sunday and he was using his left arm to like pull himself up because I think that he knew that he should be using it. Um, but it just wasn't quite as responsive. And then of course, when, when Uncle Bill came out and said, no, you, you need to go ahead and just bypass your pediatrician because they're just gonna send you to Enlo. And we did. Uh, but I, I thought it'd be good so that you guys knew like what were Ethan's signs that we had these red flags and um, you know, we don't really know where we're gonna end up. Uh, I don't know what pathology is gonna say and so much of it is gonna hinge on that. Um, we know that half of, at least half of the tumor is gone, but with half of the tumor uh, that's left, that, that's gonna determine our, our long-term path. And that's, that's the scary part, is, is not knowing. Uh, but we're gonna make it. I'm gonna have courage for my son because he doesn't have a choice. So I'm going to choose to walk this path with, with courage and faith and hope alongside him. So there's our, our Friday update. Thank you guys for uh, your constant prayers because that's, that's what we need. We need strength, we need hope, and not strength because I wanna be strong and manly, but because I'm, I'm broken inside uh, for my son. And, and I need strength to have courage for my son. And so, pray, find joy, have hope. Thanks guys for tuning in, until next time.